Oh, hello. This is Mark Castro, and the tool I created for this week is called the Visual Network Protocol Analyzer. It's basically a pie chart graphing. Whatever you extract data from PCAP generated by Wireshark, you, you'll be able to visualize that using uh, uh, to represent the text and to convert it into images. Um, okay. Uh, the prerequisite that we have right now is pretty much you, you have to have a py knowledge of Python, Wireshark, Linux, Unix, uh, the Parshark, and MATLAB, the library, uh, the API. Okay, the network protocol capture analyzer, it, what, what it does, it, it, it grabs the data from the PCAP of the Wireshark and converts it into a uh, maps graphs in charge. This is the vi for data visualization of, of the network. Okay, early days, we have a primitive uh, visual representation of data. We got uh, the pie chart, uh, the table and the graphing, but it becomes more complex nowadays. The, um, so the, we got the bullet graph, heat maps, uh, radical trees and infographics. These are all available that you can extract from a uh, math plot, uh, plot library of Python module. Um, why do we care? Uh, we can develop and tailor in-house products cheaply without re resorting to expensive software. The current software that uh, a lot of companies are using, it costs about like $6,000 licensing for the enterprise version. And you can capture and harvest data for the purpose of data science of a big data and you can automate the forensic analysis of the data you captured within the network. Why? So that we can easily understand, easy to understand the visual representation for uh, for humans like us. Uh, what do we care? We can tailor the product, of course, for in-house for visual data. Um, uh, we can do a data science to create visual context of what we are capturing by placing it in visual context so that patterns, trends, and correlations that might not otherwise be detected can be exposed. And then uh, you can do forensic analysis uh, from USB local area network. Um, you can capture the protocols passing through the network and be able to create, for example, here the Wireshark example that um, you can create uh, certain visual aspects of it by using the API. Um, you can easy you can use the live capture or file capture, but for this project, I used the, the file capture generated by the Wireshark instead of the live capture generating by PyShark. The future work, um, you have to understand that uh, this uh, project is specifically designed for small in business, uh, small and medium business, uh, IT infrastructure that uh, cannot afford an expensive licensing. So for the demo, I'll go through, this is pretty much the general code. I I updated the code. I um, I, I did more upgrade to re represent more graphs, but this one, it, it can only draw one, uh, one graph at a time. It's in Linux environment. So you have the show visual data. This is where um, it extracts the data from TXT, and then it creates an output. Um, the, I'm, on this version right here, I'm using the the math um, uh, the ma the math plot library for this, and for the same capture data, I'm using the API for PyShark to be able to grab data from the cap that where uh, the Wireshark is being extracted, uh, Wireshark that generated. So uh, in general, this how explains uh, it just basically. Uh, the, how the code works is pretty much three modules. The um, data capture network protocol analyzer. You got Parshark. Uh, it is it's a wrapper to T Shark that enabled to break out, uh, to break out all package details by layer, and the library for uh, rendering graphs in chart. So once it renders the graphs, it uses the uh, it reads comma delimited context. So um, and then it create comma delimited file from keypap. Uh, PCAP on this uh, function, and then if you look at the the comment deleted from PCAP that was generated, here's the P, uh, the cap that got captured from uh, PyShark, and it generates the data X. 
So in summary, we have the Parshark, if Parshark pick up, it retrieve data into data txt, and then it will create a, a math library to be able to grab the data. Um, and this one will finally show the data, and then it will create uh, a visual representation of the data that you uh, captured. Uh, for the live demo, here, okay, for the uh, GitHub, I created GitHub. I just called a pie chart to graphs. Um, it's visual network graph representation and it explains to you why do you care, the requirements of knowledge to know in order to set up this environment. And you have the installation um, modules that you need to be able to run it and how to run it and uh, the future work that's specifically designed for uh, medium uh, business. So, um, so we have a program right here. I, I created three sets of data, one for small size, uh, medium, and um, uh, large size. This one is the large size data. What it does is, the, just like I summarized, it captured uh, uh, the PCAP, the markup that generated from the Wireshark, and then will um, it captured the interest, you know, the data you're interested in, put it in one of those files, the bit files, and and then it will call the the math library, uh, the math plot library to be able to uh, render the data. If I run it, so this one is using the data more data to be able to capture it. So I can run here. This one will take. Uh, uh, well, it will pretty much take about uh, 10, 15 minutes because we have like 16,000 rows of data. Um, if you look at here, it's, um, see, it's it's running right now. It takes a long time. Uh, so it's it's parsing, it's pretty much this one. What it's doing is it's parsing the uh, markup uh, generated by the parse shark and be able to put it here into uh, output it to one of the files. So what I did, I, I cut it off uh, at the very beginning so that uh, it can run a lot faster and put it right here. So when I run it, um, uh, mar, oh no, the data that takes the, we only have that file, but if I have more, this is like, uh, Cat, sorry, cat data more. So it's it's being captured right now. This is about 16,000 rows, so I wouldn't run that for you. It will take about 15, 20 minutes to be able to render the data. So um, so if you run the code, it will grab, it will parse the um, the API, uh, the uh, port, the API, uh, the port, uh, the IP address, and the port. And then it will create a visual representation of whatever you captured from uh, the uh, from the Wireshark. So you have the IP to IP. Basically, this it's telling us on this one. It's telling us that um, oh, it will expand. Uh, this IP address was trying to access this different kinds of um, IP address. The so this is the source. Uh, these are the source, and uh, one one is the the destination. This is the source. So this is my I. My computer and I try to access a different IP address from the source. I think some of them are coming from uh, from my virtual machine, so it was able to capture different IP address coming from my uh, PC. And uh, it tells you which IP address trying to access. But this one is a IP versus port access, so you have the IP ports and what are the ports, uh, what are the IP address that, the, what ports are using on that specific IP address. On the, in the bar graph below, you can, you know, it's pretty much representation of the same thing as the Bob one, except in a bar graph, uh, bar graph representation of data. So uh, the most important thing is you have to be able to tailor it specifically designed for your tools. Um, if you have any questions, uh, this one, it will take about 15 minutes. It's it's gonna be really long. So I just cut it off to certain, uh, to tailor the data specific to I need. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thank you.